Well, it's time to log in to another shift at uh, Space Station 13. Let's see. We'll just declare ready and see what we've got. Plenty of jobs to choose from. Um, there's already a chef. I think I'll be botanist again. Botanist. Hydroponic green thumb plant grower person thingamabob. Um, if the chef is actually active, then we'll grow him some food. And um, then get to modifying stuff. Actually, I want to go find a multi-tool as quickly as possible. That way I don't have to spend any time looking for it. Whenever it's time. Just now, put my turbo on. That's right, I make airplane sounds when I run down hallways. So let's see, there's the multi-tool. Found it. Don't get locked in the tool shed. Magnus Prime's fucking around with the engineering door. I'm just gonna listen to the the chip tunes for a moment. How about that? Sometimes those tunes can just carry you away and make the day and job go by so much easier. So much quicker, even whenever you're just planting seeds in the ground. You need that. Hopefully there's more on the way. So let's see, I think that's almost all of them. What do I got? Two seeds left? One? I think two. I think that? Yeah, that's a synth meat seed. What is it? This one? No, not there. This one, maybe? There we go. What, this top one? Ah, okay. So now everything's planted. There is Charles Barkley. Looks like the janitor. That's what that little flash of pink is, I believe. I still don't know how to read all the outfits. You would think by now that I would know how to read everyone's uniform, but I don't. If he had his galoshes on, I would most definitely know. In Cash Cavalette is our chef today. He's wearing clown shoes, though. And he looks kind of like Father Time. I'm sure the food will be safe to eat. After all, we're going to be growing the, growing the food. You can't really screw it up too much by cooking it, right? So we're going to um, do a little bit of remodeling, push all these plants together. And then we're going to go hack that machine and get a few more seed options. While all this stuff is growing, we're going to be wasting a bunch of time destroying seeds as we radiate them in the gene manipulator there and try to create a mutant of some type, a different variety. Um, so let's see. Just take the screwdriver, pop open the front of the machine there, and bring out the multi-tool. Um, actually, after you open it, click on it, open the interface, and then bring out the multi-tool. You might see right now, these are the only options we have for seeds. We want to pulse the lights here until we turn the white light on. So we'll pulse the poos wire, and boom, first try. The white light turns on, and now we have access to... Everything below potato. Cannabis, fungus, lasher, creeper, radweed, slurry pod, and space grass. We can now grow all of that stuff. Very nice, if I do say so. Even though um, most of it has no use at all. Slurry pods will splash on you and poison you. Make you have headaches and vomit all over the place. Radweed will radiate you. But it will create mutations in some of the plants, I believe. Creepers will quickly take over all of your plant pots and pretty much bring your growing operation to a halt. Lashers will thrash at you like thorn bushes and um, knock you down and ruin your farming time. You don't want them. I don't think fungus has much use. The hospital might be able to use it for something, but 
most of them are never going to care enough to do anything with it. Even if you did grow it for them and take it to them, they, yeah, I don't think most people would even give a fuck. So, not worth your time to grow any of it. Cannabis has a few mut mutations that you can grow. One that will trip out the, the patient, the other that will kill them. Um, I don't know what else does. I think that there's a different variation of chili, which is what we're actually going to try to splice. I've heard about it. I want to try to grow it. Maybe we'll get to. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll be killed. Um, and never get around to it. So we'll just close that panel there again. Um, that way nobody is none the wiser. Even though, honestly, I don't think anyone cares. And um, before we start hacking plants and splicing genes and stuff... Let's do one quick lap around the station. I want to try to get a, a sense of what's going on out there. And then we'll water the plants when we come back. Let's see. The electrician's office is wide open. That's kind of disheartening. Makes me wonder if there's an EMAG on the loose. There's the clown without his shoes. The clown. And the court just blew up. What perfect, perfect timing. What did you do, clown? Oh my gosh. Holy shit. So, I doubt the, the clown did anything, but you never know. He is a clown. Even worse than a clown. If I'm not mistaken. Anything in the chapel? Looks like we just slipped in through the doorway. There's the chaplain. Crad Murug. One of those freaky mechanist priests that conversed with the AI and the robots. Would never trust them. They care more about robot life worshipping the AI than they do anything else. So there's the chef. Hello, Cash. Stumbling around with his big dumb shoes on. And freakily enough, the station seems extremely quiet. The electrician's door is closed, so it wasn't emagged open. It is... It's too quiet, to be honest. That is weird. Well, except for that explosion that we did bump into, I guess. It's not... Two point. Did I not plant two things there? Holy crap. I missed two seeds completely. That's awful. So those plants will be way behind. And look. The lights are flashing so our, uh, our wheat plant is ready to harvest. There we go. Now we got that one open. That means all of these are going to start going soon. Um, let's use the gene bender just for a moment while they all start lighting up. And we're going to pump out a whole bunch of chili seeds. You can see I can only use it a certain number of times to pump out a certain number of seeds before it has to start charging. Um, we'll just leave that off to the side here. And to use the gene splicer, you need to grab two seeds. And just put them into the gene machine. And let's see. It shows you right here what slot you're viewing. There's slot one and slot two. One for each seed that you placed in there. This is the level, um, the stats of the genes that we're going to be multiplying. You can change your slot by clicking change slot. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Over to seed slot 2. Whenever you've got the genes that you want on both seeds, you click seed splicing. We'll get to that here in a moment. And if you want to cancel it, you just click eject seeds. Um, I keep this window open, by the way, because I want to vend seeds as often as I can. Well, not as often as I can. But I want a healthy pile of seeds there, because we're going to destroy a huge number of seeds um, just by insanely trying to grind out high numbers. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this. I don't know it. I'm a big derp. I'm just going to try to power through it. So we'll start on seed slot one. And for the chili plant, um, let's try to make an extremely potent chili pepper, maybe one that will catch people on fire, if that's possible. Um, so we're going to click Irradiate Potency Gene once. That puts 10 points into potency. Amazingly enough, it picked up 4 points into maturity. Now, you want maturity to be a negative number. If it's a plus number, that's how long. That will add more time before the plant matures and you can harvest. 
if you have a lower number there, it can grow extremely quick and pump out food. Um, you know, like, you can have two life cycles of this plant. You get what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah, two plants instead of one plant, all that big, fun stuff. And endurance. I don't know what that means. I think that's how susceptible it is to dying when you harvest it. And seed radiation level one. Uh, it's... Every time you radiate, it bumps it up a level. Every time you radiate, there's a certain percentage that the seed is going to be destroyed. So we'll try potency once more, and bam, we get to level 2. This is pretty nice. Um, I don't really use level 2 seeds, though. I'm trying to go a little bit higher. We're going to go through these seeds a whole lot quicker after this, by the way. We'll try it again. Level 3. Yes, yeah, so we've got potency 30. Endurance is kind of going down. That's not too good. But this seed is fairly nice. It's a level 3 seed and um, it's got some stats. So we're going to change the slot over to slot 2. This is the raw base seed that hasn't been radiated at all. We're going to try and click up a, a few things on it. Production. Um, I think the pro maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what you should want here. I don't know if this should be negative or positive. I'm going to have to say due to how often it takes it negative that you want negative, but I could be wrong. Um, but it has no potency. Yield is negative one. It's going to give you less per harvest. It might not even give you anything per harvest. Endurance is going down. Lifespan is going down. We'll bump up potency. Bump it up again. Well, that's not too bad. It's a level four now. You know what? Let's splice it. We can work out these little negatives. So we'll hit seed splicing, and it'll show us both of the seeds that we're going to splice, both of the stats, and um, then we click splice seeds right here. It splices the seeds together, puts it right there for us to see, and this is the stats that this seed ended up with. Instead of having a seed that is zeros all across the board, um, we now know it's generation one, it's got negative one yield, it's 30 potent, so we can actually start off with that seed again in the seed vendor there, in the seed gene machine, the gene manipulator. So now, it's the level one plant again. Click seed irradiation, go back to slot one, and we can begin to irradiate it again without having to worry so much about it blowing up. We combined both of those two seeds that were leveled up into this one seed right here, and it adopted some of their traits, not all of them. We'll try to irradiate it once. There we go. Bumped it up to 42 potency. Um, and I'm just going to start flying through this a lot quicker. We're going to start destroying seeds here. Alert. Seed destroyed by radiation. Yep. That's fine. I don't want to destroy the seed in slot one. So I won't be switching back to that one, primarily because uh, there's a bit of work to get that seed. And destroyed that one as well. <laughs> that one destroyed on the first first click. All, all my plants are going over there, so... Um, let's go... Ooh, I like that. 30 potency. You know what, let's splice those seeds. Splice both of those. And, um, actually, hang on. I want to scan this once. See what stats we've got. 42 potency, maturation rate 4. Still has low yield and low endurance. I'm going to need to work on that. Low yield and low endurance. So, we're going to put that there and leave it there. Close this out. And let's harvest a few plants for the chef. We'll grab our produce satchel from the locker there. And um, let's go click on all these plants that are flashing here. Now, you want to use the produce satchel to move around produce. That's why it's called the produce satchel. Harvest those peppers. We're going to have a lot of empty plant pots after this. That's fine, because we're going to start trying to plant some of these mutated seeds that we're, that we're going to be producing soon. Harvest the synth meat. Synth meat, probably the most important plant, at least in my opinion. Meat can be hard to come by if you're an ethical, ethical chef. <sighs> Arrest the chemists. P.S. Grenade equals traitor. So is there crazy stuff going on out there? I assume they found a traitor trying to blow something up with a grenade. Shouldn't be too surprising. That's what chemists do. That's what they're good for. Okay, but now that we've got a produce satchel here, what you want to do is just, well, let's click on the, the tomato here, drag it onto our satchel, and we'll qu quickly begin filling produce those tomatoes from any square around us. So we'll do peppers, and if there were peppers anywhere around me, I would start loading all of them up too. Extremely quick way 
to load up produce. Whoops. I don't want to drop that. There we go. I'll just load that tomato in there. And that way you can load up huge harvests really quick and dump it on the chef's counter there for him to sort through and take as he wants. One good harvest out of all these plants is enough for uh, pretty much to feed the crew for the entire round. Most people aren't going to eat anyways, which is quite sad. Everyone should come in, have a bite to eat with the chef every now and then, hang out with the barkeep. Their jobs get pretty boring if customers don't come in. So maybe we'll go get some food from the chef soon. And of course, bombs are blowing up somewhere. And cloaker detected. So there's a cloaker trying to flash people. Magnus Prime just about got flashed. Are you in there, chef? Yelling at the chef over the intercom that he's got a produce delivery. And to unload the produce satchel, you just drag it and click onto the table there. Anywhere you drag and click, you'll unload it to. If you want to unload it where you're standing, just double-click on it while it's in your hand, and you'll dump everything on the floor there. Chef is a cyborg now. Oh, man. Man, that sucks. Somebody made the chef into a cyborg. Now who's going to feed the crew? That's awful. Oh, well. If the chef's dead, we don't have much reason to live, do we? I want to cook our bountiful produce. Um, let's water some of these plants. Get a few of these plants up and going, I guess. Even though I should probably take the chainsaw to them. And chop them down. You know what? Let's not, let's not water anything now. Since the chef's dead, my, my stomach for growing has been destroyed. Let's see. Um, we'll do a little bit more seed splicing here. Take a seed. I would really like to make a mutant strain of chili peppers. It's 42. I need to bump up the yield, the endurance, and maybe the potency. So let's go to seed irradiation slot 2. Yield and endurance. Endurance seems to destroy seeds extremely quickly, by the way. Endurance of 8, yield, boom, seed destroyed. No luck. This is a weak batch of seeds, bam, seed destroyed. Endurance of 11, and that sounds like a fire extinguisher to someone's head. Boom, seed destroyed on the first endurance click. Endurance is a bitch to raise. That's pretty damn nice, endurance of 12. One potency, yes, okay, let's splice these seeds. I like that. It was a very nice batch. I'm not even going to irradiate the seed we've been working on because it could be destroyed in one go. So we've got a yield of one and endurance of minus three. It didn't inherit the endurance stats. We did bump up yield though. So let's put that seed in there. Try another seed or two to mutate them. Seed slot two, yield, seed destroyed. Come on. You know you want to work with me. Just, just do it. Seed destroyed. You bastard. Am I going to have to get a screwdriver? Seed destroyed. Now you're just toying with me. I know it. Uh, come on, grab a seed. I must count to, you know, at three in my head. There we go. Don't just, don't be destroyed. Okay, I wasn't destroyed. Just had to re-click on the machine to update it. So we've got production of four. That's nice. Lifespan minus one. But no endurance. Nine endurance. What about potency? And that took yield down again, damn it. Just destroy the seed. I want to raise yield and endurance. I would like to have a little bit of potency on there as well. Production four, yield one, nine. One more potency, come on. Okay, let's let's splice this. Splice those seeds. And what do we got? 1, 42, and 9 endurance. That's fairly nice. You know what? That, I'm probably not going to get endurance much higher than that. Or potency. Let's just plant it right there. And I'm going to do one really quick run here on one seed. Try to get one really high level seed. And that's just a regular, regular chili plant. You'll know if it's, if it's unnatural by the color. So let's see. Bump up, 
How high can I get the potency on one seed? The highest seed radiation level I've seen is five, by the way. Three, four, there's 53. Let's change the slot to this seed and see how high we can get this one. And we'll go plant both of them. Seed destroyed, yeah, I expect that. This is kind of a way to power it through it, if you don't want to try to splice them. You won't get the best, best seed you can possibly make, but you might get something nice. I've had seeds gene splice all the way up to 70 potency. That still didn't make him anything special. Some endurance? Ooh, 31? Okay. Let's eject both of those seeds. And go plant them. Maybe one of them will be a special seed. Again, this might not even be how mutations work. I could be totally wrong. In fact, I, I generally assume that I am wrong. Nothing in any of these harvests? Come on. Sent me. Yeah, they're both regular. Maybe it. Maybe it takes radweed. I think it used to take radweed to radiate and mutate plants, but. No, because I have made mutated plants with that before. It's not getting lucky today, is what it is. And you know what? I think that's gonna be it. Let's make a little bit of extract here, because you can extract plenty of stuff that you grow. To make extracts, you grab a beaker from the table here, put it in the regent extractor here, and then just grab whatever plants you want to extract from. Um, different plants will give you different stuff. Oranges will give you orange juice. Tomatoes might give you tomato juice. Chili peppers, the hot kind, will give you capsation. Apples, surprisingly enough, don't give you apple juice, which I think is a shame. And I don't know if synth meat will give you anything. Let's put some of that in there. Aw, uh, damn it. Extractor can't take meat. Damn vegetarian extractor. So we got 40 units of capsation. We'll just eject this beaker here. And we're going to splash it on ourselves. We've been splashed with something. Capsation, obviously, has no effect on me. Which is, I guess, kind of disappointing. Shame it doesn't burn me or anything. I know that if you grind up, or if you throw orange juice in someone's face, you'll blind them, kind of, for a while. It'd be like welding blindness. The special chili peppers, that you can extract something special from them. You can extract, uh, if you grow any of the healing plants... You can extract healing agents that you can splash on people to heal them and bring them back from the brink of death. If you grow weed, you can extract THC and uh, splash that on people to get them high. Same if you get the rainbow weed, you can extract LSD from it. And use that for plenty of fun. You can make ice cream out of anything you can extract, I believe. So if you've got poop in a beaker, you can make poop ice cream. You can make capsation ice cream. You can make THC ice cream that screws up anyone who eats it. You can make cyanide ice cream. All types of fun stuff you can make at the ice cream dispenser here. Which I will most definitely be doing whenever I get access to it. Either on this character, which let's find out if we can... They said the chef was turned into a robot. Does that mean his ID badge is somewhere? Maybe the roboticists have his ID. There's the detective, Andrew Molivarti, and a handcuffed Afro man. What are you doing? What's your name? Omagus Zavin. <sighs> I guess he's dancing around with the detective right now. Um, let's see. I can go check the robotics, roboticists area through here. That's a dead end. A locker stuffed back in the corner, probably with a body in it. There's the chef's body, and yes. I'm sure that his ID is still on him. The ID of the chef. And I need that ID. And damn it, he's handcuffed. Hey, robot. Come here, baseball cap.
Damn it, cyborg, come here. Damn it. I need that ID. <clears throat> awesome, and Magnus Prime just some. How did he get in there? I guess he's got an all access ID card. He's labeled as an assistant, but I have a feeling that's just a cover label. It's probably got much more power than that, but instead of being suspicious and raising questions by saying master of the universe or king of the station or something like I would probably do. You went a little bit more low-key on assistant. Well, can't work your magic twice? Amazing. It's just amazing how he does that. Um, come on, Zeta. Well, apparently he's quite adept at hacking doors, and there's a guard, Trip Kill a slot. I'm guessing he's, with a name like that, he's probably a little bit trigger happy. What are you doing hacking that door? Nope, he runs away. I expect confrontation at every corner, by the way. Any chance somebody gets. Especially if they're in a security position. That's talent right there. And cash cash card on clicky click. You know, thanks to him, there he is. Thanks a lot, Magnus. Now we can go cook some stuff. I can show you guys a <laughs> Oh damn it. I was gonna say I could show you guys how to cook in the kitchen. Oh well. Maybe next round, right? So let's see. The heads of staff stopped the revolution. Omega Zaven, dead, so he was being chased around by the detective because he was ahead. They must have figured it out. The Kloon, he was the one who set off that bomb in the courtroom. He was dead. I guess they figured it out. No idea who Nicholas Barrett was. Cash, the chef, dead. No wonder he wasn't there to cook our food. And the heads of staff, they killed Dakota Phoenix and Pooh King. Not bad. And Gipper Reagan is the only head to survive. Lean Mean Machine 13. We did kick ass.